Hey, this is Mike Lamar from Arch Enemy, and you are watching Rock and Metal News. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News with a Rock Metal News update. Crosses have booked some live shows. They are confirmed for December the 5th in Reno, Nevada and January the 14th in Chicago, Illinois, House of Blues. Crosses will release their new self-titled album Through Sumerian on February the 11th. Protest the Hero have announced that the contortionists have replaced Architects on their North American tour. Archit architects dropped off the bill due to mental fatigue and exhaustion. And DailyMail.co.uk talk with ex-Lost Prophets frontman Ian Watkins' stepfather, John Davies. Davies is a church minister who married Ian's mother, Elaine, when uh, Ian was eight. He stated, This is so hard. It's overwhelming. It has affected every aspect of our lives. It's the first thing a parent asks themselves. Where did we go wrong? What happened? Ian was loved, cherished, encouraged, and nurtured. We did our best. He was a normal, happy young lad who grew up in the valleys in a loving family which had no more problems than anyone else has. I don't know how this will turn out. I don't know whether he will be remembered for years to come as somebody inf infam infamous and evil, like sort of Jimmy Seville character. I hope not. I hope something will happen to change the perception of people. Time will tell. We're going to do our best to support him and hope for the best. That's all we can do. And on a follow-up note, HMV removed all of the Lost Profits releases from their 140 stores in the UK due to Ian Watkins' uh, guilty pleas to a number of child sex charges. Check out a video of Black Label Society's Zach Wilde performing at EMG TV studio as he breaks out in an acoustic jam. Check it out in the link in the description. And Napalm Death and Keith Harrison's live performance collaboration called Bustle Home will be performed on November the 29th. The band will play a live set through an experimental sculpture sound system made by Harrison. The band will play and the sound waves will reverberate inside the clay, causing it to slowly crack and crumble as it disintegrates and explodes. The music will keep changing as this goes on. Can't wait to see some video of that when that happens. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.